guys, in this SCX24 right here, this Lexus is the new Micro Python Pro OLED. Now, this thing right here, you can adjust it right from the ESC. You can use the app and all that as well with the Bluetooth dongle, but man, you really don't need it. You may need glasses if you're older, but you know what? You can see everything nice and clean. Guys, let me show this to you. Yes, it does display the voltage right here. The button right there, I will show all that to you with a voiceover as I'm going through this thing. It does come with the Cedar motor, which actually runs really good with this. It also comes with a conversion. Now, when you put the conversion, you got to get a little creative with some of your stock plastics. That's just the way it goes with these things, right? The printed piece right there is something that I designed pretty darn quick um, just to get this thing where it will show up in the windshield area, and it absolutely does. I will list that on the website. It's very, very small, but you know what? It seems to work. It tapes right down here. You can tape or glue it however you want to do it. This whole section right here, I'm just simply going to work my way through the uh, menu, try to show you guys a few things, some of the options, battery settings. And it, it, it's all done by scrolling. You don't really scroll it. You kind of like, it's like a switch. You kind of move it to one side or the other. And then you push it in as kind of like your enter button. And you just simply go through all, everything here. Motor rotation, all that stuff. I mean, it's all here, your BEC. Now, I did notice that the voltage cutoff was at none. I'm like, huh, let me see what I can do about this. So I scroll voltage cutoff to about three volts, I believe it was. Yep, there you go right there. Pretty simple. Yeah, I'm not sure why that would be turned off, but uh, it really need it really needs to be on BC output, 5.4 or 7.4 volts, as you can see right here. And you got your max forward, all that stuff like that, right? So I'm just simply scrolling through, just showing you guys some of the menus and stuff like that, you know, FOC. All these features that you're seeing here. Now, some have an exit button, some don't. Just simply long press the button and you'll get back to it. So, all these features are also in the app. The app is easier, but, I mean, this is right here on the thing. So, you know, I mean, you can actually set your curves on here. You can totally do that. But I don't know if I'd want to try to set it on the app on here or not. The app is pretty easy. At least I think so. I got to admit, this right here actually was pretty nice to just look right at the vehicle and look at your battery voltage. That was actually, that was actually pretty cool. And yep, we can see that voltage just like I wanted. Now we're going to bring this over through here. You can watch that voltage. So it's actually a really nice indicator of your voltage. Oh yeah. Right through there. Look at that. One thing we got to check on these is the hold, the FOC hold. You don't want any rollback, so that's what we're going to check right here. This is about as stiff as this thing is going to go. And there is zero rollback. Let's try to take it off a of hold. Very smooth off a of hold right there. I don't think the truck's going to get the climb, but uh, at least you guys can see it's very smooth coming off of the hold. And now let's check some downhill. We're probably gonna roll it over here. It is very top heavy. Downhill control FOC looks really good. Whoop, oh, whoop. Oh. Got a little bit of punch there. Really nice. I probably could have chose a better vehicle, but at least this one you can see the stuff through the windshield, right? All right, let's bring this up right here. Little suspension bridge. I mean, the control feels pretty good. You guys saw all the uh, tuning and all that right from it, and it also links with the uh, FureTech app too. So you got all of that as well. The Cedar motor pulls really nice with it. So overall, it's a really good combo.
the overall control is really nice. And I guess even though we all have smartphones, you don't really need one. Oh, we're going to flip it over right here. Uh, so I still have all the top stuff in it. And there's lead in the top too to give it more scale crashing ability. I cannot believe it. It did not roll. I added, there's like six pounds on top of this thing. Oh, there we go. As far as the drive on this thing goes, I mean, I was able to show you guys the hold feature, how it comes off the hold, super smooth. The architecture of the Python style ESCs is really good. I mean, back with the Python X and all that stuff, when that first came out, I was like, dude, this is really awesome. And this right here is as well. So I'm um, really happy with that. Uh, drag brake, the control coming down, the FOC works really good with this thing. So. And the top of it doesn't really have six pounds of lead in it. It's just hollow with whatever it came with. So maybe I should seal them up, pack some helium in there. That might be pretty good. Now, the one issue I did have with it was in regards to this wire right here, right here going into the ESC. Um, I found another one to put it in there to make that work, but it was kind of a bit loose. You got to push on it. All of a sudden, the receiver got power let off the receiver lost power so and I changed the plug out and it was pretty good so there was a little bit of an issue with this right here but man uh, that was with the stock battery now keep in mind it is good to 3s so with that in there you know what um, I guess I'm gonna have to take it out for 3s run and show that one to you but you know what that's for another video guys check that description I'll link this up down below use those links hit that subscribe ring that bell and you all have a fantastic day. Still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.